Aquarius, hope you're well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Aquarius, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your romantic energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe and comment down below. Now, if you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Aquarius, make sure you stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides, tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. What do we got going on right now? First card, ooh, Ace of Wands. Your angels are giving you a reminder that movement, trying something new, change, changing your energy, changing your life. This is, an, this is a time right now to welcome change in your life, right? This is a time right now to start something, even stop something as well. Like for example, what can you start right now? Maybe you always want to start going to yoga class, spin class. What can you stop? Maybe you're like, mm, maybe I'm going to stop the, the poor self-talk, right? What can you, you know, do more of? Maybe you're like, hmm, I've been exercising and I could do that more. Maybe what can you, you know, do less? Maybe you're like, mm, you know what? Maybe I could eat a little bit less junk food. I know I can, right? So right now it's like, this is a beautiful time for change. And by changing your energy, it's a breath of fresh air. You will be changing your life. Now you got the world card, which is a travel card next to the chariot. That's what I'm talking about. Eight and nine of wands, very interesting. Three of cups. The four wands next to the four swords. There's so many synchronicities here and there's so many travel cards. You got the Wheel of Fortune here as well, which is very interesting, and the Six of Swords. Now, Aquarius, before we start to read, your affirmation for today is money flows to me easily. Write that down in the comment section. Money flows to me easily. Quantum entangle with this energy. Let the universe know you welcome this energy. Welcome money into your life. Money flows to me easily. Write that down in the comment section. All right, so definitely travel on the horizon for you. You got the Wheel of fortune, the world card. So it's like the universe wants to gift you some sort of travel. Maybe you're going to win some tickets. Maybe you'll, you'll be gifted some tickets. But right now you are meant to get out of your environment, get out of your setting, change your energy and get these downloads. And this is something that is going to help you so much because I know when we get stuck doing the same old thing, we get the same old results. If you wake up same time, watch the same shows, eat the same food, go to sleep, but expect change, it's going to be difficult. But you got to understand when you instill a will greater than the programming, when you tell yourself, you know what? I feel like stuck. Like for example, I know a lot of times when I'm working on my Amazon businesses, I sometimes get stuck. And what my ego fear wants me to do is sit there like a deer in headlights and try to push through, try to make it happen, right? Try to grind. And that's the brainwashing I was influenced when I was growing up. That's what, you know, I heard in school. That's what, you know, I was told and just try to push through and, you know, settle. And this energy right here, this will keep you stuck. Law of attraction, you will get more of this. So right now you are being told to get out of your environment, get out of your setting. Cause I see here that you're going to be able to get some sort of download clarity answer you're going to get a fresh perspective and this right here will change your life because it's almost like being given like a, a, a almost like following the gps or map you'll be given clear direction and a lot of times when i'm stuck on my amazon businesses my ego wants me to sit still so what do i do get up and i swing like a little boy wee and i tell myself what is my passion right now this is the most important part so for example if i'm working on my business and i'm trying to create wealth and I get stuck, I tell myself, what is my passion right now? Like, do I want to sit here anymore? Mm, no. What do you want to do? What are your options right now, Vince? Well, I can go for a walk or I can call Alicia or I can, you know, my wife, I can, um, go to a coffee shop or I can go to the gym or I can watch TV. Cool, a lot of options. Which one of these are you excited about? Hmm, I'm not really excited about any of them. Well, which one are you the most excited about even a little bit more than the rest? Uh, well, I kind of want to go to a coffee shop. Great, go do that. Okay, so go to the coffee shop. When you're there, do what you are the most excited about to its potential. Like for example, at the coffee shop, Go there and don't think of something else. Don't, don't go in the familiar past, predictable future. I will go there and be like, oh man, this coffee's so good. Oh, I love being here. I'll bring a book and just read it there. I'll go on my phone, I'll chill, and I'll love the environment, and I'll do what it is that I'm most excited about to its fullest. At that point, ding, 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 ding. That is the trick. All of a sudden, download of what I should do. Oh, do this for your business. Do that for your business. All of a sudden, someone will come up to me and be like, hey, how you doing? I like that drink. Is it good? You know, the energy you emit, you'll be approachable. They'll start talking to you. Hey, what do you do? I do Amazon business. Great, but I do this. Oh, networking. You see where I'm going with this? 
Follow your passion. Follow your bliss. I see financially. That's why I said money flows to you easily. Write that down. Let it be known because right now you have so many good things coming your way financially, new opportunities, and I also see whatever it is you're currently doing as far as your career, blossoming and growing, getting better. That means a promotion, bonus, maybe an inheritance, but wealth wants to make its way into your, into your life because you are it's your birthright to be rich, but also when you are magnetic, money is energy. A person is energy. Money is, you gotta treat it as a human being, for example. Why would someone wanna date you, right? If you meet a stranger, the stranger has no idea who you are. Why would they wanna date you? because they think you're probably fun, exciting, their life would be better if you, they were around your energy. Exactly, that's the same thing with money. But the problem is people create resistance when it comes to money. People say to money, I hate you, you don't love me, I don't have you, right? Imagine you start saying that to a human being, oh, you never wanna call me anymore, Ugh. that person's gonna run from you. But when you are cool, calm, and collective, and you invite money in your life, and you're like, money, I love you. Money, you know how I know how to treat you. And then like, for example, if you're dating someone, when you date someone, how do you act? Right? You show them that you're not catering to them, right? You're just doing you, you're having fun, and they want to tag along, and that's the energy. And that's the energy that I feel from you. I see right now that you are so magnetic that not only money, but people want to be around you. You have this beautiful, harmonious, synergistic energy with your soul. You are shining. When you and your higher self are one, when you are honoring your soul, when you are you know, uh, uh, really watering the grass and watching it grow, which means meditation right here. Why do I sound like I'm so cool, calm, and collective? It's not because I wake up and I go on my phone and I look at geopolitical events, right? It's because I wake up and I throw on some 432 hertz music in YouTube, 4328C, just listen, it's like, ah, oh, and I just listen to that and I bring my awareness to my third eye and I stop thinking and I stop thinking. And as I'm think not thinking, do you know what I'm doing? My brain's going delete trauma, delete limiting belief, delete shadow, delete, 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 delete. So by you not thinking, you may feel like you're not doing anything. You are doing more than you ever have in your life by not thinking. And I see here right now, the moment you clear this energy, the moment that you start doing a little bit of this meditation, now third parties, three cups, people will want to quantum entangle with your energy because they will magnetically be drawn to it. Spirit is going to bring whoever it is that you need to meet, divine timing, divine source, and divine intervention in your life at the right time, in the right moment, in the right place, the who, what, when, where, how, you have nothing to worry about as long as you are magnetic. Multiple, multiple offerings will come your way. And right now the universe is just waiting for you to basically get ready, right? Dress for the party. Imagine spirit's gonna throw you a party and all you have to do is just put on your clothes and that really means a little bit of that meditation. All right, Aquarius, now your animal spirit is, look at this, swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. What does deep dive mean? Meditation. Meditation. Meditation is the easiest thing you'll ever do. It's easy. It's like tying your shoes, but you got to just do it, right? Like you, you do it once or twice or three times. Now you can do it with your eyes closed, and that's what it is. Now, Aquarius, I'm going to pull a final message from your spirit guides. Final message for Aquarius, please. Look at that, inner truths. You notice everything's about inwards, nothing is about outwards. The message is inner truths. When you look within, that's when everything comes to you, right? Imagine I wanna, I want you to come see me. I would hold your hand and bring you within, right? I wouldn't push you away. When you look outward, what do I do? You're pushing stuff away. You're either pushing, pulling or pulling. That says energy is never created, it's never destroyed, it's always moved. That's the laws of thermodynamics. Pull, pull. All right, so there's a lot of depth to your feelings. You are on your way to understanding your feelings and desires more clearly. The next steps on your path will soon reveal themselves. Stay diligent, excuse me, vigilant, uh, to new opportunities that may lead you to the beginnings of novel projects or assist you with current ventures. So that really means be open-minded and really look for signs. Your angels and guides are going to guide you. They're gonna guide you in the form of signs, synchronicities, hints, clues. Anything that you see that you may consider a coincidence, there is no coincidences. There's zero coincidences in this third dimension only synchronicities, look for them, right? Be aware of them. If you see, if you see angel numbers, 111, 333, 444, and you're thinking of something, that's either a yes or a no, and you'll feel what that is. If you are thinking of, you know, doing something and then you see advertisement in bold letters, just, just 
making it just bright, like just sh- screaming at you. Like this is what it should be. Listen to that. If you hear songs on the radio that have answers to your to your to your questions, listen to that. If you see feathers on the ground, anything, anything odd that seems like like birds flying out of nowhere, you're like, what the heck? Where do these birds come from? That is exactly how your angels are speaking to you. And right now, they're telling you that the inner truths within you, right, you're deep down, your intuition is guiding you towards something abundant. Listen to it inwards. Already, Chris, I hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.